What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So for a long time I've really wanted to try uh, Ramp Package Galling P. Galling P is always this card that we're using as a finisher at the end of a tempo deck that has uh, you know a bunch of like black eyed peas and triceratops like the grass knuckles deck or even like an all out P deck uh, with green shadow but we haven't ever really done a dedicated deck uh, to ramp Gatling P. If you can pull this off and play this on turn three and they don't have an answer, it does 10 damage. That is half of their health absolutely uh, decimated uh, all in one turn. So we're running uh, seven ramp cards, running four twin sunflower. I ran three sun here. Sure, we're going to keep an eye on if this is enough. Ended up cunning one of these for a Torchwood. Torchwood actually has a lot of synergy in this deck. Um, if you are playing, for example, Sun Ear Shroom on turn three, then you'll have six sun on turn four. Uh, in which case you're able to be, play Gatling P plus Torchwood, which is a 14 damage that turn, which is ridiculous. You could even play Click P plus um, Gatling P, which is going to make the Gatling P do an extra 5 damage just right off the bat. Uh, we're also running Pod Fighter, so again, this on turn 6 would be this plus Torchwood would make it do a bonus attack for 5. Uh, we're running Party Time in this deck, and I think this might be... Again, we're trying to take a lot of these cards that have been around since uh, set 1 and find the use for them. I think this might be, possibly has the potential of being the party time deck, because if you play this, let's say when you have six sun together uh, with your pod fighter, really you can even just play the pod fighter on turn three if you played your twin sunflower, uh, and then, you know, put cards next to it the next turn. I'm gonna try to play this in lanes two and three, so you have plenty of space to do extra bonus attacks. But if you're playing your party time, that automatically does a bonus attack, then the next, every single card you play, you're basically gonna refill your hand um, on turn four, just from having a pot fighter around, uh, which is awesome. We're also running Bananasaurus Rex, which is natural synergy with the party time. You can play this on turn when you have five sun. You can play Bananasaurus Rex, which again, that's turn three, so it's it's not going to be a difficult card to remove. And then you can throw on top of that uh, a party time in order to be able to draw extra cards. Uh, the Bananasaurus Rex is also going to. Ten health. Decimated. What is this? I see what you did there. <laughs> Ten health decimated. You know it. You got some history buffs up in here. I did not do that on purpose, but yeah, maybe subconsciously. Uh, Banana Source Rex with Party Time would be the five sun combo. I'm gonna, it's talking five sun because you're going to be making five sun if you can pull off a twin sunflower. We have plenty of one drops to set up on turn one in order to be able to park a twin sunflower behind it. That's mostly useful against the brainy class because they have cards like summoning and teleporter um, maybe even infinity because infinity clones it's good to be able to have something to park this behind uh, if they play on turn two you're able to play your twin sunflower really good answer to basically any two drop because uh, you're gonna be making two extra sun the next turn and coming in with a really strong card if they pass then the best play is black ip so i love running these two cards together in the same deck and if they pass you're gonna get hugely punished from playing tricks that turn uh, running a couple of plant foods as a finisher. We anyway have a lot of um, team of cards. The cop cannon, you know, can just even be played on top of a torchwood to get some removal. So it's really nice again when you're ramping to have at least four big late game cards. We'll count the Banana Source Rex as one of them. Even Banana Source Rex Torchwood is not a terrible play, so they can't like teleport in a three attack minion. Once the Banana Source Rex gets going, it gets going. And this thing you can even just play like Banana Source Rex Whole Flora on turn three to, you know, draw two extra cards, and this will be a 5-5. If they don't have an immediate answer, they die. It's a little bit of a YOLO kind of deck. Like, very often we're running slower cards like Allosaurus when we're ramping. Uh, this is a much more aggressive version. You're trying to really just pound damage into them before they can catch up from that ramp play that you made. Let's see how the deck does. I, I, I think this has very high potential. Let's get right into the games. Um... These games shouldn't take that long. It's not like a super light game deck. We're going to be ramping, so we should have time for 10 games today. Uh, the, the deck is definitely subject to change. I'm going to keep an eye on the Torchwoods and the Party Times and and see if there's too many pod fighters. see if we need a little bit of strike through in the late game. Uh, and we'll even see if the plant foods are going to be good in this deck. A lot, a lot of new things we're trying today. So if you think this deck will go 8 out of 10, vote yes. 7 and 3 is going to be a no. Betting, of course, your channel points over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry them up. It's nice we have all these little ones, just like in case we don't get our ramp, that we don't just die. So we're going to get rid of the lake and we're looking for a ramp. Um, it's cool that we have Holoflora as one of the... One of the things...
<laughs> so I'm gonna hold on to the party time for now. We need a leap! We need a leap! <coughs> Welcome to all the new Hi, people. We got a I'm lot of new people you. here. Thank you to Coaster, by the way, for gifting a sub. And thank you to Hums for eight months. Hell yeah, so he's spamming away. Um, we really should go for the ramp play. It's probably just gotta be here. We're gonna take a little damage, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be able to win this race. Believe you me. Mini ninja, oh my gosh, it's so much damage though. It's crazy. It's really bad. We just don't wanna like die. We have some heals. So that's something. Uh, so we're gonna play what is the the, the play here? Is it pod fighter? Or Gatling. It kind of depends what he plays, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll play something in front. Do we just go Gatling for for 10 damage? It's ridiculous. We don't really want to draw cards um, because of these two con men. Let's see if he has a fruitcake. This is a lot of... Oh, man. Interesting how he's sacrificing the 4 damage. He really likes the comment. Doesn't want us blocking, I guess. Yeah, we're taking too much damage here. This is the problem. I could actually just go... Yeah. <laughs> That's why he liked the comment. We're just gonna get milled. There's no point in even party timing. Where's my... I need just... I don't know, Torchwood? I don't know what I need. We're dying. We're dying to mill. So... Drawing an extra card just sucks here. I wonder if I should just go Gatling. I mean, I could go Gatling here. Did he show us a superpower yet? Summoning to double card draw and backup dancers. If he has exactly summoning, the Gatling here is kind of sad. I, I think I'm gonna just try to play defensive. So I'm gonna go like this. And like this. More Garden Warfare 2 kind maybe. So he didn't have anything there, which is cool. I wonder what superpower he has. And uh, we're just taking one from the common. We have some, um, some heals, which is so <laughs> important here. So. Bruh. We can also, since we're making seven sun, we can just take out the con man. With the pod, we can put pod fighter here. He's trying to rush us. I should use the geyser here no matter what. I'll probably do a defensive uh, play with Gatling and heal. So it's going to be you. I'll go for party time here. And we'll heal up. And it doesn't punish us for this card draw. Because it's dead already. It's not gonna... No, there's no way that should... There's no freaking way. Okay, we're playing around like final mission. We only have four health. But yeah, that's a lot of damage. If this dies, it would open this up again. We have team-ups to play here, though. So we can actually get some burst. This is a lot of damage. Even having a... Teleporting in a three drop that does four damage in this lane. He almost has no answer to the gat lane. So that's a sure... Five? Is he gonna give us ten damage from the Gatling here? It's a suicide. What is he doing? Yeah, you can you can instead of a deck show me like a game mechanic, like a little clip, you can do that. People do this. Wow, so he's just he's just taking ten damage on the chin this turn. We're all of a sudden we're ahead, and he's down to two. If he doesn't have a oh, we draw another card. <laughs> the party time. If he doesn't have a gravestone, he loses. We play. We can play two team ups here easily. Okay. Well, here's shot number one. Oh my gosh, he blocked. We draw a card. Don't get summoning. He if he gets card draw, we win. It's uh, so Eureka. God damn it. There's no like evolution that we can. Uh, I wonder if I should have. I wonder if I should have played Pod Fighter. What do we do here? Two and three? I think this is fine. The chances of him being able to go face for six damage here are not too high. It's gotta be two and three, right? We can play two more cards here. 
Why don't we do this first so we can draw a card and see what we get? Probably worth it. There's nothing that we can get that's that sets this off a third time here, because it's in the corner. And a little bit sad when you play this on heights that even with all the team ups it only gets three shots. It's okay, Ken, go for it. Again, I don't know if he's a trickster. Is there to it's the final? We're still doing no. Yeah, that actually. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, we have a, a board space. In fact, we have plenty of board space now because of. Oh, we actually do two damage in this lane too. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I won't yell at him for not seeing it because I, I didn't see the black AP thing either. All right, so far so good, and that was against a guy who um, who had con men just rushed, and rushes very often like a nice aggro deck is going to be the way to beat ramp. It's one reason why I try to really stack the ones and twos a little heavier with healing, if not with a bunch of black IPs, and we have click. We have a bunch of defensive cards early, so we're gonna always get rid of plant food early. I'm gonna get rid of the second Lakin card and see if some ramp will show up. This is fine. This should be enough to stay off the brainstorm until we get to the light game. You could just play this control. I feel like Torchwood is a decent control card because it makes... It basically is like an extra bungee plumber. Like, it does extra two damage to something and then creates another threat on the field. I wonder if Torchwood is really just a super underrated card. Uh, what about the click P? Like, I could just do these together next turn. And I think I'm going to, again, try to play more defensive since we have a bit of a late game deck. These cards also do combo in the late game better, so holding them rather than going face for two here, I don't think it's worth it. Banana peel over plant food? I don't see why banana peel would be good in this deck other than the banana source tracks. Every once in a while we'll open up a lane, but I wish we had some grave removal. So he commits. Unfortunately, I can't punish that with a Twin Sunflower. I think I'm going to go face for all the damage here. I think I'm going to actually just start putting some pressure. This not only does 4 damage to his face, but it just creates a problem that he's going to have to deal with. He can't afford to sit here and take 4 damage every turn. He would have to use a card to directly remove it, and then we can set up something behind the Torchwood again. So, this should be good. Ohio scientists, let's go. Let's just dry on turn two. No Dr. Space Time, no nothing. That's how we do it in Ohio. <laughs> I don't know why we call it that. But it's funny. Uh, this, and, uh, this and Scorch looks great. Prevents some bullseye and kills this. That's a... That's a high quality scorch right there, you know what I'm saying? And we're still plugging him for four damage. This is turn two, right? This is turn three. I'm stupid. But yeah, we're, we're plugging him for another four here, so. That hurts, man. Even if he has a summoning, it goes down the, the drain here. I can play backup Dan, like who cares, man? Every he, he can never win the trade unless he has a bungee plumber. It's a one for one, but we also get two cost three threes. See, we have two cost three threes now. Click bees in our deck, which is an overpowered card. Plus the black IP punish them. So we that trade, we won that trade. <laughs> here it is. And we're here, guys. I don't even know, do I save the party time for after? The pot fighter is a little bit of an awkward card because it's five costs. It's very expensive, but it needs more cards in order to kind of reward it. I'm gonna just play you. I think I'm gonna hold the party time here, though. Damn, that's a 5-3. That's crazy. It kills teleportation zombie. Kills chemist, too, man. Chemist is trading for Torchwood here. That's amazing! <clears throat> We've completely demolished every single thing he's tried to set up. And we end up with an amazing feel. We're coming in with... We're coming in with tempo. Which just makes it harder to start dealing with cards like Pod Fighter.
the, 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 the location of the pod fighter is a little awkward. If he's definitely going to clear a lane, I guess I'll put the pod fighter here. So that lane's not even getting cleared. I think the cop cannon just kind of like empties this. We'll take the extra three damage this turn. It's just a little weird that there's no, we don't have board space for the pod fighter. I think this goes here. It's going face for three. The, you know, this zero one that's just a chump blocker dies for free to the cop cannon next turn. This has a, the three four has a higher chance of dying. I don't know what this is gonna be, man. This three drop gravestone. There's nothing really does four damage, right? In brainstorms kit. Anga plus Bungie? I don't even know what. Oh, so that does. So he'll actually be opening up some space for the pot fighter now. Something there. There's something there. That, well, okay. Alright, I forgot about Electrician. That does 4 damage. So we, we could play, if we get another 5 drop or a Bananasaurus Rex or a Gatling, um, or even a plant food, we could very likely do a party time play here, which is awesome. It'll draw some cards. Another pod fighter right now would just demolish him because we'll draw two cards when we play this party time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man is gonna be the day. He's gonna be the day to guy. He's gonna be so day. He's gonna. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna draw cards. Oh, he actually will. Oh my gosh. Well, he put a. Whenever you play this card, also, they just stick a gravestone in front of it. Kind of a flawed card. So now what? Honestly, we're gonna cop first. We're gonna cop first. It's so good taking out. It keeps the 3-2 alive. That is what I call a cop, dry cop cannon getting it done. And we'll be able to get value from the pod fighter next turn. It's just a silly old drone engineer. We got 9 damage on his face. He'll be down to 4. This man, dang it. A team up would be really good for the pod fighter. Bro, you know what? You didn't even do anything. What is he? Why did he not bungee the three two and actually kill a card and prevent your face from going down to four? That's the real question, guys. Uh, Gatling now wins in two lanes. La 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 la. I'll definitely party time first because got to pull off the card draw, man. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna win. In fact, if he puts a guy here, we can clear the lane with party time and then Gatling on top of this, so this so play is extra cool. Okay, he threw his phone on the lake. What did you say? What if we teleport it and teleport Podfighter? What are you talking about? That's crazy talk. I don't know what he's saying. I like the 2022 recap video. Hell yeah, I worked through way too hard on that. Shout out to Slage. Who's going for a gadget play? Maybe. We, we're getting, we haven't been <laughs> getting a lot of ramp, unfortunately. Where's my ramp cards? Give me ramp. Okay. It's ramp. We don't actually have a 5 drop yet. Should I spam this? It's likely we'll draw in the next two turns into something that's playable on turn 3. So, methinks I'm actually going to play Click B. It also makes the chances of drawing second Click B higher. Sooner. Teleport Brain Nana, yeah. Teleport Brain Nana. That's cool. It's pimp throwing pimp. Um, the question is, where is this going to go? We could put it behind, which me makes it safe next turn, but we can always protect it. I think lane one is overall the best choice. It also means we could do thick tor torchwood here next turn, which makes the click be survive, which probably doesn't matter. There's also a heal play. Let's see what we get, man. We're hoping to draw into... Man, these mini, mini ninjas? Coming out of our ass. Oh, Bananasaurus Rex is a play. 
More like Bananasaurus wrecked. I think we would rather the B Rex live. I'm gonna just do it like this. We'll have to. I mean, the Cobb Cannon, if he doesn't kill the, the Twin Sunflower, Cobb Cannon kills us for free next turn. It could very likely kill another Imp, too. So that's a good play. Yeah, and he makes a useless garbage play. You know how it works. I love how this is protected now, so he can't deadly and like run a card into it. So he kills Torchwood. Oh no. Oh no. I'm probably just gonna dry Cobb Cannon. We're taking six damage here, which is sad. And we're rolling all ones. I think that was quadruple ones. One no, it was two one one. Which is fine. Oh no. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. See, the good news is he's probably going for Bad Moon Rising. Man, this Cobb Cannon is gonna come in. It's gonna come in hard. <laughs> he can't Bad Moon Rising. That is the good news. Dry Cobb looking hot. What did that do? So we could Dry Cobb here. The other option is to play on this and kill. Uh, it's too much damage. This is a no brainer play, isn't it? Hell yeah. He gets a free imp, I don't care. Saves the click pee, which we can grow next turn. Oh, he does. God damn it. <laughs> we gave him a stop it on. Teleport. Uh. He'll probably just stick an imp on the. Why is this a 4 3? Oh my god, because the stop it on. Stop it on, more like. Stop, stop it on. And he's leaping that. Don't get some BS, okay? It dies for free. This is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we are stable. He got two stomping on shots, so everything in his hand could be buffed too, too. Everything except for these two cards. So he can have at maximum five cards with a 2-2 two -two buff. It's kind of hard. Uh, the geyser looks like it's coming in strong here, so is... So what's better, Click P or Black Eyed P? We're gonna geyser. The Bananasaurus Rex is the more volatile. He's definitely playing a trick, so this is a 3-4. We don't need this to be a 3-3 three, three yet. I'm gonna go with Black IP since it's definitely a, a turn he's playing a trick. Might as well. He might very likely play even two tricks, so it's, we'll capitalize on that instead of a 3-3. Three, three, we'll get a 3-4 at least. And again, the card he wants to front is the Bananasaurus Rex, so that's why we'll protect it with the... And Sunflower. He's just playing really defensive here. We do get, again, a 4 5 now, Black IP. Uh, this Click P is a fine card, and hopefully, we'll get with pl plenty of late game. So, even though we are low in cards, we should be able to fill in the sun value every turn here. It's annoying. Still spending a lot. 3 3. I think I should have killed the Stompadon and taken all that damage and gone down to like eight health there. I don't think so. Jesus came to save the Jews. Love you, cry. Thank you, Trevor, for the ten dollars. Really appreciate it. Hell yeah. You guys is paying my bills so I can play PVC Heroes and make the videos. You all desire. You know how it works. Uh, cheating time? The, the, the space time loses its buff, so space time's in the nebula. This can go right here. In fact, if space time is in the nebula, I'm pretty sure the card draw is better than the black IP here. I'm gonna go with that, because we are, theoretically, doing a bonus attack. He does end up uh, with four extra brains, which is naughty naughty. <laughs> Could be Rex, though, and he did not have an answer, so... We roll a one. That's pretty huge. Smack. See what happens here. But yeah, that's an extra card. A, a needed card. And man, we're drawing in a cob cannon. All I need. With the ramp. Do we got double cob cannon this turn? No, single. But we'll get him with another one. It's just nice to, you know, when you're blowing cards to have this much late game. It's cheating time once again. So his mug is in four. Space times in two. It's the non-mix of Gravedigger. Imp throwing imp. 
maintains its wonderful position in lane one. There's no point in evolving that, so we is just going face. That's all we is doing. He's got three brains to answer. Um, he actually got the the, the, the B-Rex with the mug, which is so annoying, because this would have actually gone for face for five. So we actually would have won if the mix of Gravedigger ended up somewhere else. And now we're in a little bit, little bit of trouble. Just a little bit. That missed. That's cool. I like this in the water because we just gotta, we just gotta tickle his face one time here. One time. Yes, that's the best thing. I did the best thing. So now we have lethal. We have lethal in two lanes. Actually, if you play pot, cop cannon, a cop cannon here, it will remove the space time before the pod fighter does its attack. The card played always works, guys. Time to show you some game mechanics. I'm gonna say I'm confident enough with this game mechanic that I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk missing lethal. The card you play's ability always happens first, right? So then this goes face for three. A little. A little educational moment here in the Fry'em Up stream, why not? Hell yeah. Uh, we're 3-0. Honestly, it's so funny because the Pod Fighter hasn't been very good as a tempo card when you're when you're ramping, but it's been second to none as a finisher because you just blast them. It's just like after turn five seems to be the time it shines. Which is an interesting idea, you know, I've never done like a ramp to a late game OTK go. Oh my god, I'm writing that <laughs> down. Ramp to late game OTK pod fighter combo. <laughs> and that would be a proper miracle deck. Like you just go, like on turn eight, you'll go pod fighter, Torchwood, and then play a couple like little buddies, just like spam little. Oh my god. Oh my god, it would be so good. So this is a fine, this is a fine hand right here. We'll just play this tempo. Little buddy and heal. Maybe we just run heal just to stall on that deck. We'll stall and ramp. And instead of like Espresso Fiesta, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna pot fight this guy. This guy's ass. That's what we doing. Okay, so here we go. Here's an infinity. The, the, the bad news is it's infinity. The good news is instead of playing con man, or Grave Robber, this man is playing Imposter. Now, the deck is actually pretty bad against um, Toxic Waste Imp, and I really hope we don't see one of those here, because we, you're, uh, okay, that would be the argument for Banana Peel. <laughs> we don't have, we have literally no answer to Toxic Waste Imp. And if he's running Imposter, he's definitely running Toxic. Let's be real, guys. Let's be honest. Sunnier Shroom underrated? Hell yeah. I mean, I, I put an F tier in the tier list when I made that. <laughs> It'd be like one of the first cards I'd... It's D, so I'd put in B, probably. I should really make, like, one tier list just to remake it. Especially at the beginning of the year. We've had a whole another year. Alright, well, anyway, let's... Let's try to pummel this guy as fast as possible. I wonder if keeping this party time... It's not going to be great on three, unless we get another card here. For real, bro? Okay, now it's good. I'll just put it put it on the 5-2. See what happens. Can we get like a black IP here? Slunk. No. Oh my dog. Uh yeah, the heal's gonna come in pretty hard. Yeah, baseball. So we definitely have to party time. Can't afford to take. Another five damage. You know, it's probably Banana Source Rex, which means one of these click fees are gonna die, which is okay. It would just be nice to be able to heal this turn, but just developing more tempo with the B Rexes. It's gotta be right. We'll save the B Rexes better in four. Technically, the best lane, unless you're considering heights, is four. Oh, we can actually have another play. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Forget the B Rex. Screw B Rex. Got no need for that. I'm still gonna save room for the pod fighter. The pod fighter likes to be in the middle B-Rex. The reason B-Rex would like to be in four, typically, or a later lane, is in case they proc your block, it can grow before the attack phase. But anyway. This play got easy. Well, maybe I should play around deadly though. 
Should I save the heal in case of deadly? He's running. He's running imposter. So he, he, it's the chances of him running barrel barrels goes up a little bit. You know, not a very common card with pirates, but it would be if he's running this card, barrel of dead beards, man. There's nothing that can make him splash an extra one damage. So there's no there, the heal doesn't actually matter here. So I'm gonna half measure this this barrel of barrels by not committing, and that's fine. That that doesn't matter at all because the heal wouldn't have done anything. He's going face. That's really strange. I thought he would have taken the trade and actually, but we're going we're going eight now. I think that was borderline insane to go face with a final. That's such a, a strong tempo play that would have made him ahead on the field. Now he's behind. I don't like it. Uh, we probably just spam a Bonanceros Rex and heal here, and then again, these, these turn into 4-4s, four which is very cool. Is there an argument for... for it doesn't make sense. <laughs> for, set up some YOLO freaking <laughs> pod fighter? I don't think so. The cool thing here is that if this procs a block, we gotta just not roll a 1. Um, this Bonanceros Rex just wins the game. Just wow. So, uh, this is the better YOLO play as well. I'm so happy this wasn't like a line dancing zombie. And that should do it. No, we, we didn't block. Come on, block me, dude. Wow. Chance of losing this game now? I think we're pretty good. We will save this for the win next turn because it's likely we'll have... If he puts like a 2 or 1 health minion, then we win. Uh, with the chomp, we'll be able to chomp and uh, plant food. You'd have to put a 2 health or 1 health minion in one of these lanes. I didn't say he did. See you next time on Fry Him Up. Yeah, I know, the guy was actually running a pirate deck in the end of the day. Who would have known? 4-0. It's weird because this deck has been dominating, but it also feels shaky. It doesn't feel safe. We're not running any heal. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should get rid of the pod fighter. I feel like we still haven't even seen the, the pod. We haven't gotten our ram cards consistently enough. You know what I'm doing? Because I really have, we're not seeing the ramp. I'm going back. This was the last minute change. That, the chat. Otherwise known as moist, convince <laughs> me to do. I'm gonna I'm, let's go with this because I, I we haven't seen like us ramp to a pod fighter and then just go freaking ham on them the next turn, you know. And I want to see it. This makes it less likely for him because we don't have as many torchwoods. I mean, I also really kind of don't want to get rid of party time. All right, you know what? We'll do it like this. I really want to do the Torchwood thing, too, so... I got rid of one party time. You know what? You know what? As good as Ramp and Gatling and the Pod Fighter seem to be doing, I'm not sure the party time... This is actually the deck for it, and I'll tell you why. Ketchup would be really good for this deck. I probably should just get rid of the, the party time some favorite run ketchup. Because since this deck is so aggressive, once you're setting up your Gatlings and your B-Rexes, you're kind of just... <laughs> Trying to rush and just kill them fast. Card draw isn't that relevant. We have plenty of late game. We've never really... We've been low in cards, but we haven't run out of cards yet. We haven't even really come close to a top deck scenario. We've been down to, like, I think two cards in hand. So, here's some ramp. Here's party time. I don't know. I, I'll keep this for a cheese cutter and ditch this one. It's, 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 uh, you know, that's a hand. And we got a Sun Ear Show. Put Little Buddy instead of B-Rex. It's just too, too much of a support card. We need, you need, in ramp decks, you need, you need to have a big card. If you end up with Little Buddy and no B-Rex and no, no Gatling, you're, you're screwed, you know? So we're not going to spam this. I, I could end up going 3-4 and then playing this together with, with, uh, Oddfighter. I guess I'm gonna put this on the ground. It's a little... I don't think I can... 
I don't think I can play into Immortitia because we're bats or something and her beam me ups and she's passing, so she has something. I don't think I can play a safe twin sunflower. I'm gonna play party I probably should have well, I didn't see the twin sunflower. I'm gonna play party time. And I'm gonna set up the uh the zero three behind it next turn. That's just a safer play. We'll use this as a base for Cobb Cannon or something. That draws out the summoning too, which is part of it. Oh my gosh, you got aerobics. So we have to deal with the 4-1 now. It's so annoying. We can kill it with for free with Cobb Cannon, so I'll try to set up Sunny or Shroom next door. Hopefully it doesn't without summoning, this card becomes a lot harder to answer. So let's hope that I don't know, beam me up plus a card? Okay, we're fine. And the cop, honestly, we're taking four damage and the cop is free. So, we're, this is okay. <laughs> Summoning aerobics. Aerobics, such a good standalone card, which makes it why it's one of the best cards you get from summoning, you know? Uncircumstantially. So, just dry cob looks awesome. Uh, even if he kills this, even, well. I don't want him to have the option of going after our ramp. I think I'm going to play this in front here. I, I think the ramp is still... has big potential. Guys, look, it's Orchestra Instructor. It's Aerobics Conductor, guys. So he just he just hits them, and now we got, we got plays now. Ooh, we got plays. So no cob. See, now I'm going to start putting this behind. Um, maybe party time is even better. Let's do it. Let's do it like this. Middle lanes like to be... Uh, I guess this wants to be on the right side, right? Okay, so we'll put it here. Middle lane will keep for pod fighter. Opponent, we'll see if they have another... Um, rocket it almost feels like that teleport is you digging for a rocket so this is interesting it's again teleport gravestone it's so annoying but at least we'll draw a card here and we we have all this tempo set up i think the deck is just weak against gravestone it's <laughs> the reason why this is good as a finisher but not good as a tempo guard so then they just do that it's so annoying but we drew a card off of it uh i it's it's really weird but we just have to Hob cannon. I'm gonna play around alien ooze and put it here. I don't even know where this goes. I'll put this on heights. Okay. We gotta maintain the tempo here. Uh, I just realized this is probably a teleport zombot deck and that this is another teleportation zombie. Most likely. We need another late game card. Ooh, I don't know. This is probably a really bad matchup because he's able to teleport gravestones. He has all the rockets. That probably was the last rocket. Four cards in hand. Uh, really just need something that does damage here. Yes! Holy top deck craziness! The problem is it's turn nine and he's Zombots. Oh no, I, I, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's turn nine. It's not, it's not giving him extra from, oh no it is, no sorry, it's only turn seven. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm tripping right now. I know our son says 11 and his says 9, but it is turn 7. He can't play Zombot. This is a 2 cost gravestone, that's why it says 9. They asked me a different time why. So, we don't really need the ramp. I think I just go 6 and 4 and hold on to the Torchwood. Oh, this is crazy though. I think I have to plant food here, right? I don't even know though, is that good? He only has, well, have seven left. It just means it doesn't die to nurse. I'm gonna actually protect it. I probably should have played the torch when have the twin sunflower in front, obviously. I'm protecting it from this card, I guess. It's nice to keep the health up on this. Yeah, he's running, um, so again, there's other cards he runs besides for Zombie. Looks like he's going with Garg throwing Garg. Let's see what he gets here. Uh, Nurse Garg anyway only has six attacks. Once I play that plant food, I don't really need to protect the cow. The cool thing is, is that that's a couple of 
teleports. He's played now, I think, one teleport and two teleportation zombies, so... It just makes him... It just... If he doesn't have a third teleportation zombie, which is not likely, it just means the Zombot takes a whole extra turn, because Zombot comes in on 10 instead of on 9. But yeah, we don't... You know, I should have utilized the heal. I don't even know. I'm still gonna... I'm gonna protect the this one now. I think the 2 cost is actually more useful. Doesn't really matter. You know, I think it's just him having just burnt out of answers. He has a third rocket science. Devastating. He got four rockets. That was four, right? He got all four, man. That's the game. I mean, that's the game. We, we need we need every single turn out to top deck a late game card. And it, that's the only chance. And we also need him not to have teleport Zamba. Oh my god. We rolled a three and got Holo Flora. We're, Torchwood? Torchwood? It's a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna hold this still, though. We can get... He doesn't... There's no more rockets. Well, it doesn't matter. I almost... Wait, I wish I had a torso. He's running Mechasaur now. I can kill the Mechasaur. This is gonna be a tough decision. So I can either do 9 slash 12 damage to his phase... Proc is block and Mechasaur takes over the game. I can do two bonus attacks, which is a lot of resources to spend here. And then the third attack will kill the Mechasaur. This is definitely not lethal. I need a Torchwood though. Setting this up in a side lane might be the end of us. Anyway, I have to kill the Mechasaur. There's no option. We only have nine health and he's doing a whole lot. Um, I'll just commit the heal here, just in case he, you know, summons anything in lane 4. Should I just do this too? No, I have to save it for the pod fighter next turn. Yeah, if I had that Torchwood from before, it would have been... If I would have saved the Torchwood and instead of the, you know, protecting the Cobb Cannon, then it would have been five five fights. He still would have blocked, and the Mechasaur would have just d demolished us here. Luckily, Mechasaur gets a donut. So that's fun. He still has 12 health, though. Hey, we watch him just pass and teleport Zombot here, too. He's had every he's had everything he's needed so far. It doesn't even matter. We just lose to lane 4. This is like Saiyan. People call this deck Igma Tisha. This is Saiyan's deck he was doing way before Igma. It's the teleport Zombot deck. He's doing it instead of Zombies running Mechasaur and Garg Launcher. There's no chance of winning this game anymore, right? Unless he throws and actually tries to draw a card here. Which, um... You never know. We actually he's still... We're still in the game. If he passes, he wins. If he draws a card and makes a, a kite flyer here, we could block. And we actually still have a shot in this game. Was YOLOing? Anyway. Alright. Actually, he blocks. Actually, he blocks. He blocks. He always blocks. Yes? Lane four? Good double threes? No, 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 no. This is not. Uh. <laughs> Guys, the kid be optimistic. Come on. <laughs> we rolled double twos. Oh, well. There still was... There's still a chance! Never surrender! <laughs> Never surrender! <laughs> anyway. Anyway. That was such an annoying match, oh my gosh. The... yeah, this is fine. We keep Torchwood? You gotta keep Torchwood, come on. So the question, well, he can't really summon something next turn, so I'll just draw cards and get some options. We also have answer to, like, anything with these two, which is cool. If they make commits, well, well, we'll just go for ramp. If he passes... What if he flag swarms? What if he flag and teachers this turn? Then what do we do? We'd still just draw out the Lightning Bolt. Ugh, I hate this. We have no... I'm not running any Colonel Pole. I'm not really running any answers to... <laughs> to 
to his car. We could play it safe and just set up Torchwood here. I feel like ramping. He'll have an answer to the ramp and then we're done. If he has a ZMAX super, I'd rather him just use it now. Alright, YOLO. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. Lightning, that's okay. <sighs> so that... He probably is not going to be able to draw a card, so we, we, we happen. Just so happen to have an answer to this. I think because of the Bananasaurus Rex coming in next turn. I should put this somewhere. I think I'll put it here. Honestly, he only has three cards in hand. Let's go face. Let's take out the teacher. <laughs> First we blow the teacher, then we take out the teacher. In that order, guys. The order is, is key. Yeah, so here you go, oh, man. This guy, they see it's a ZMAC deck that did four damage, full block meter, coming into turn four now. Three cards in hand, make it four, it doesn't matter. We're ahead on the board. This is a tough ZMAC, you gotta win fast. He doesn't have the uh, most ZMAC decks, they're not running the late game threats. We could play around Bungie Plumber slash Galvanize slash a million other things that. Do two damage? Not really, it's just Galvanize, right? You know what, if he has Galvanize, he deserves it. But all the other cards do three damage, the only thing really does two, right? On the zombie side. That adds two damage to a lane. Fruit kicked it anyway, this is fine, so further entrenching our card advantage. Rust Ball, that's cool. You were Death Gamer, good okay, game. GG's. You were the Morticia? Just kicked my ass. Kicked my ass. Is this the best? You know what? I I'm just looking at our hands. We're not going to have an extra sun for a few turns. <laughs> I'm just going to spend it. It healed the torch with it. got us up to 19. It just means we can make these plays freely and we have a little bit of more health to spend on just going face. God damn it. As cool as it is to go face for 14 damage here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bananas, this, um... This Stompadon is really his chance of winning. Man, I, maybe I should just go with, in case he has a fruitcake. This is the last hope he probably has in this, in this ballgame here. So I'm actually gonna be weird and do this play. Because then, if he, even if he has a fruitcake, or like a, I don't know, a healthy, double healthy treat, this dies no matter what. So he got one shot, which is okay. We'll probably just cob cannon, it kills us for free, and we'll see what else he plays. If he has a late game card, we answer it here. I don't like this cob cannon, I think I'm doing the Gatling. We also draw an extra card, which might give us a, you know, a one drop. It's pretty strong. No idea what this is going to be. Yummy. He is protected with trash. We're still on 17 health, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, he's doing 7 max. We're doing 14 rows. <laughs> We drew a card there too, that's fine. And we still have the Torchwood. Just in case we need a cop cannon, emergency cop cannon.exe. Um, what turn is it? It's six now, right? So it's turn seven. I could play this next turn probably. Get a little more value. You roll double threes, wow, okay. I, you know, it, it, it's likely to count. People have been telling me recently because I've been uh, have a lot of, like, fails that are based on me California rolling. It's not just about California rolling. Apparently there's a 1 in 14 chance, so in the course of 10 games, it's likely to happen once or twice. It's about the situations. 
That was the difference between him having 12 health and 5. That is like... That's just like the game, you know? Uh, we probably just go face here for the win, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So that's 11 and extra and change. Yeah, one, one brain doesn't answer anything here. So we got it. We got 16 damage on this. On this poor old man's face. Give that man a time. <laughs> this is the best superpower in the game. Don't do a damn thing. Give that man a towel. We just splooge on him right now. This poor old man. Die, Quasar. You're evil. Eat him up. Galling P. There's a PvD1 card that's worth its me. We got two PvD. These are probably the two best PvD1 cards in, in PvD Heroes, right? Cobb Cannon and Galling P. Classic. Just. Just classic. 5 and 1, though. Kicking some ass in Ohio. Redo the tier list and uh, I should. Mm. Okay, well we know this is better and later in game. Oh my gosh, this hand just got so good. Should I just keep this? I think a, just a turn three play would be really nice, so. Oh, this works. It work. Play around. Hello. Play around trapper territory. Why not? Why the hell now? I guess I'll put this in four, and we'll keep the middle lanes for bottom. Huh? Bungee plumber. Bungee plumber. I think we put the two cost three three on the field. Oh my god, we're hacking. Officially hacking. Officially cheating in PVZ heroes. Let's go. I wonder if I should be playing ground because of turn... Scorch doesn't happen until turn 5. Yeah. <coughs> okay, don't get BS and we're good. Don't get some BS. Oh my god, it's so close to being B... Almost had 3 attack. But it's just... Premature... Genetic experimentation. Go win in a... Forget ramp, man. We are tempoing this guy. This will be a base for a cop cannon later or something. I don't know. Hack him up. We're hacking him. Fourth top deck of a click P. Let's go. We have a bunch in our Every time you play one of these, you get more in your deck. It's all good. I mean, such a strong Bananasaurus Rex, guys. Like, that. this is the situation, if you guys understand. It's, it looks like a Horcost 3-3, but... Like, okay, so if he goes after it, then he just dies to everything else. It's just a must-answer card that just does so... I'm like, God, he played... He... He... He's threw a donut up. He just, I don't know what it's he going. He went, he went, he went, he went funded razor on three, and then he went freaking, he went freaking kill me, please, on turn four with a thinking cap. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to prematurely ejaculate here, but this man, this man is dead. This man is dead. Pardon my expression. Yes, today we are splooging on old men and prematurely ejaculating. That is basically what the stream is about. And we're hacking click these. You know how it works. You know you know how that prime upstream goes. Now everyone clips that. That's that's the mold of fun, you guys. I'm just giving you some 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 clip clipping entertainment, okay? You guys love quoting me out of goddamn context. Is there ever a scenario where we do, where we play this card? You know what? Without the Lakeham card, and we have the Black AP and the Click B and all the stuff. Screw ramp. I'm gonna tempo this brainstorm until he don't even know what hit him. Does this go? Do we play our trapper or do we play our trapper next turn? Screw this guy. There goes the YouTube monetization. No, it wasn't the first seven seconds, so it's fine. 
you can splooge on us. Oh my god, we're hacking again. We're doing it again. Oh yeah, this is better. So we go three, four. Dear God. Dear Mother Lord, old Jesus Christ God. These will be three twos. I think the torch will just go here. <laughs> More like fuck these. Oh my God! It happened two games in a row. What are the guys? Run this. Run the stats. Run your run your little AI. I don't know what you guys run your hacking things that you like to do. Uh, I think it's it's tor it's Torchwood heal. Oh, this cl I mean the click bee's fun. Yeah, let's just spend the click bee. I'll heal later. I'll heal later. See what's good. I know playing it here makes the heal better. But... I was thinking of playing Torchwood here, protect this one, and then what? And then heal so this one doesn't die? and Or play Black Eyed P? It doesn't matter. <laughs> God. Well, good thing we didn't play it in lane 4. He's just protecting his face at this point. Brainstorm's got some late game plants. This guy's running Quasar, and he's running Brainbender. So the Brainbender either means Blob or Leap. Got this from the Quasar. Honestly, at this 4-1, Black IP is so good this turn because he passed turn 4. This 4-1 is so weak. I don't even think I'm going to be Rexing. I think we're going like this. I think we give him one of these. And I think to spread the love, we'll put this here. I know we have Pod Fighter in hand, so we should not be spending our Torchwood, but come on, guys. We're, we're kicking this guy's ass. Let's go. I think it's a Valk deck, and he's running Brain Vendor just as a cheap. I don't like Brain Vendor and just Valk. Get more value from your cards instead of having a zero cost two one in the deck. But who cares? You know? So you teleport Barrel. You're right. The Valk is. Uh, how many cards have died? He's one, two, three, four. So Valk's at eight. We're at twenty. <laughs> I'm healing guys. Valk's at eight, right? Oh, he also played a genetic. Ex no, that was last turn the guy played Genetic Experiment, right? These two games are blurred because we got all the black IPs in a row. I don't even know what's going on right now. So, which of these are better? That's tough. You would have to have a, a Gravestone that does three damage for this Quick B to be worth it. On the other hand, the Pot Fighter doesn't do a damn thing. Maybe let's just go be Rex here. I don't even know what I should do. It's not going to be able to remove anything. B-Rex does the most. Podfighter is the most efficient in terms of sun. This is the most in terms of stats on the board, which probably doesn't even matter right now. But he's not going to kill another card next turn. I don't know, man. I think something dying is okay here, so I'm actually going to go face. Okay. This guy just doesn't run out of cards. We're gonna need some just cob cannons, gatlings, and stuff. To just be able to go face here. Rocket at that. That's a <laughs> that's a rocket you're gonna need back. So that's okay. Torchwood dies for free. Feels bad now. Common dies, but again, he's not. We're making all these good trades, but he's not running out of cards. So who cares? Who cares? So click 5-5, five, five, click B looks really good. <laughs> Coach, you're so annoying. We got a late game pot fighter strat coming in though. We just gotta get like another Torchwood and we'll be good to go. I think getting 5 on his face is the, is so important here. Yeah, so we win this trade. We actually win this trade now too, man. Click peas on top of click peas. We're getting so freaking lucky. I feel like this would be one of the matches we would lose without a million click peas. Galling pea for the win? Cob cannon. We take those. Um, the cob cannon doesn't do enough here. So we'll set this up, which actually is lethal next turn if we end up with a team up in hand. K? K? Oh my gosh, some, B some BS happens right now. We have lethal. We have lethal out of our pants right now. He ain't doing 15 damage. I don't care how many times you go. Keep leaping, guys. Keep it going. We needed, like, Disco Tron. It's actually 
Pretty hot chance, six drops. How many six drops are even in this game, man? There's a bunch of guards, but... A Discotron would have... Actually would not have even saved him. I wouldn't have done anything. He needs three cards, though. He was just trying to leap leap him up. Now we're seven and one. I don't know. Give that man a bell. Oh, he's looking for Undying Pharaoh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Once he saw Coffee Zombie, he's like, screw this. Okay, so here's Ramp. This will probably get Rolling Stones, which makes this better. Did we get rid of the second Ramp card? I think so. That's cool. <laughs> Have the party times been worth it? <laughs> I don't know. Is this better than Clickby? I think I'm going to play this because, theoretically, I probably should have played it in a little later lane so the Gatling could be earlier. It just absorbed the Rolling Stone. This is fine. Every one of our opponents is brainstorming, alright? So, the only thing this plays into really hard is Neptuna Super. It's one in four chance. Does this control Neptuna passing the first two turns? What else could he be going for besides for a rolling stone here? Is the real question. Who? What kind of Neptuna passes turn two? He has to have one of two cards. I don't think I've ever really gone to this level in just a regular stream here. He has to either have rolling stone or, or he's bricked or he has his ultimate. So you know what I'm doing? I'm doing this play. Screw it. He could also be going for a black hole setup for the thing next turn. I'm not playing ramp, and I'm not even playing my two drop. I'm playing click B, and I'm going to try to draw into another click B. Because now, this trades well against Rolling Stone, because it's putting two cost three threes in their deck. Trades extremely well against against Neptuna Super, because that's an ultimate ability just taken off the board by a one drop. Ends up he had both, but I think that was right. I mean, that's definitely net... Our deck, it looks a lot better now than if we had just played that Twin Sunflower, so... Call me stupid. That is almost 100% of the time going to be a an excavator. So, we can't play the, the Twin Sunflower. I'm going to put the garbage card in here and set up the slightly more useful card here. Are we over-reading him, or are we reading him like a... Oh my god, it's the smelly black hole! <laughs> We have no environments. This is a huge problem. This is actually really good against our deck. This is the first time we've seen an opponent run the smelly black hole. Wow, well, I should give context because that, that video didn't even end up on YouTube. But this is the combo that I tried to do. It was inconsistent, didn't win enough games. He's running Conjure. Not bad. What do we do here? This dies for free. This dies for free. We have to put something behind the twin next turn. Oh my gosh, this sucks. So that's the play. <laughs> Are you seeing? We're just sacrificing all of our cards to the smelly zombie. <laughs> we got you baited. And we're just ignoring space time. There's no point even thinking about how to when what turn we're gonna end up being able to deal with this infinite conjure crap <laughs> this is so strong <laughs> give me a give me a a one drop would have been so nice because we could have taken this out i feel like so we just play one of these um it's got to be this one well here's the game mechanic if we play it here this dies for free does it go in front or behind i'm almost 100 percent sure it goes in front anyone know that for sure Team ups go in front, but non team ups also go in front. It's not because it's not a team up skill, it's letting it go behind. So this has to go here. It's bad, man. The smelly black hole. Alright, well, the good news is we still have 14 health on the full block meter, so uh, we could get back into it. The bad news is this man is just. Connie's not running out of steam. He spent all these cards and. Anyway, so much better from that smelly zombie. Come on, man. Is he running this, by the way? There's no way he conjured that. He played Buried Treasure and Space Time. It's like general card, so he's running. Oh my gosh, we're bricked. Well, 
He's running a dying pharaoh. It's just, it's not the smelly. Okay, now he's got it from very treasure. You gotta give this guy the benefit of dying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. At least it answers space time. Watch him come in with barrel of barrels. He's just running this card. No. Okay. That was better than uh, this one, I think. Oh, he's doing so much damage, though. And we still are victims of the black hole. Can we get... Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Which one of these do we go for? Man, we can't make a good trade against either of these. Uh, I think... Actually, he's going to put something else into that environment. The environments kill us. Let's just lose this to environments. This is so sad. This, this cow cannon is like so sad. Stop playing cards that we can't deal with. Uh, this cob cannon actually gets value here because it kills this card. Now, is it smart? We can also go face for a lot here. Like, a lot, a lot. We kind of, at a certain point, we just got to YOLO this. So, I'm going to try to go face for eight. It'll be down to three. Maybe if the block meter behaves, we can, we can do this on one cycle here. Maybe if we get... I don't really see any chance of this winning the game, because our curve is too high. We're actually, like, giga-bricked right now. It's funny, we have Cop Cannon in one as a play. But... But blocks... Five plus four, we're just bricked with the late game here, man. There's no way to actually win, right? He does two damage with the Cowboy if we play Cop here. There's no actual way to win. We're just so bricked, like if we just got... Honestly, we would need two small cards here. Well, that's just a lot. But even this play prevents the first two lanes. There's no way he screws this up. He's not going to encrypt his own card right now. So that's the ball game. Okay. Smelly black hole one, guys. I, I'll, I'll count that as a partial victory. Just like that, I thought we were gonna roll through to nine and one, but we're seven and two. The, the answer still might be no. Long live smelly black hole. Honestly, him having that undying pharaoh. Um. It would have made it even harder to win. If we would have rolled a bunch of ones, we would have actually been able to win there, but we rolled a two and a three, so. What can you do? Alright, guys. Just like that, we are in the seven and two scenario. We have a special emote for occasions such as these. Here we go. Ultimately, brainstorm. The, the good news is. <laughs> I'm going all in on the black IP. Screw this guy. Should I look for a one? Should I even look for a one? Burex isn't a particularly good card against Brainstorm, so I'll mulligan it there. In case he has, you know, mustache wax around one. This kind of I think two, three, four, five is gonna be fine here. Uh, just like that, it's seven and two again. You guys know I, I make the 7 and 2 on purpose. You, you guys know that when we're winning too many games, I throw a couple to make it 7 and 2 just to make it exciting, right? Conspiracy theorists? That's a trade! Again, we, we have card advantage from that. Um, this is likely going to be, again, a late game if he has a trickster in hand, so that buffed the trickster a little bit. The black IP is strong. Honestly, this is stronger. Uh, it's really difficult for Brainstorm to deal 3 damage. Play that on heights just to, to trap her plus bungee doesn't do anything. Okay, so Trickster's at eight. Let's let's do this game. I want this deck to go eight and two. Trickster's at eight. Valx is zero. Let's just say zero two. That's how you say it. You say sorry, it's two zero. Second number is how many minions have died. First number is how many tricks they play. Two no. Just gotta find a simple way of not using up all your brain cells. So two cards is really, really good here. Really good. 
There's no need to start jumping with the with the Gatlings and stuff. And if he starts answering the B-Rex, then the then the, the Black IP punishes him. So that's a really strong play. I think we'll be disciplined and actually try to keep the middle lanes for the eventual pod fighter. So he's at 2-0, he's at 3-0. That chicken wing did close to nothing. We'll see if he has a bungee to follow up. He does not! So he's just taking 9 on the chin. They actually made him take more damage, if anything. So he's 3-0 right now. Trickster is still at 7. We're not even, not even worried about it. Pass again. So Gatling, I feel like the Gatling and the Cobb I'm going to save for later. You think he's going for a second chickening here? <laughs> it looks like a really good chickening war. The chance of having a second one. I don't, I, you know. I'm going to play this here. I probably don't even need to commit the twin. And it does slightly play around second chickening. This will just proc the block. God, he actually had two chickenings, so he's 4-0 now. It's not a Valk then. I'm just going to forget about the Valk, because he has he's zero minions die so far. So he's played five, so Trickster's at five now. Probably a Trickster deck with a bunch of chickenings. Good old-fashioned Professor uh, pay to win. It's a Eureka card. So, Cop Cannon Dry... Isn't that great? The fact that it's really just a 3-2. It's not a minion-based deck. I think Gatling Party Time, and we'll save the Cobb Cannon for later. Uh, should be fine. Another chicken in. <laughs> Let's go, number three! <laughs> okay, I think that's really slow. He's probably not going to answer a 5-4. If he gets a chop right now... Okay, just don't get BS. No toxic waste info, we're fine. We're good. We're really good. That that backup dancer dies for free, too. So we actually did end up getting a little splash value. But here's five, which is huge because now he is a strike. Oh my god. We also drew the card, which is so cool. We had a torch with out of it. He is a he is one shot away from just kicking the bucket here. Uh, so we do have to set up the second card. I should commit a Torchwood. This is awkward. I, I, the question is, does the Torchwood go here or here? Like, his Tricksters are so low, but he's just going to have the one. He'll use a defensive Trickster. And he wants to play it here, so if anything, the Torchwood goes here. He's not going to heal. They don't need extra damage. This is easier to take out, but he's not going to teleport in a minion with three attack. Honestly, his trickster, if he's using a defensive trickster, it's a little awkward. But the defensive trickster goes after the cop cannon. This way we remove an entire trickster. I know you guys are going to call me crazy for not putting Torchwood in front of Gatling. And there might be something after here that hindsight 2020 is going to say the Torchwood would have been better here. But I think the most light, he's definitely running trickster, right? That's the only way of him even having a slight chance of being back in the game is having two tricksters and they cost like one and two rounds. I don't even, I, I lost track, but they cost up close to nothing. He rockets that anyway. It's okay. Hell yeah. Now the Torchwood's actually active. It's protect, It's actively protecting one of our plants now. So that's awesome. He's just doing nothing yet. Trapper. He's running Trapper. The man's running Trapper. Got that from uh proc the block. Thank you, party. Oh my gosh, it's so much better than two damage. Two damage full block meter or four empty? <laughs> I'll take four empty any day. Come on, pod. Oh my gosh, pod fighter would have won. What this blows? Well, we could just win now. I'm keeping these cards for pod fighters. Screw it. There's no point in spamming them. There's no card that we need to ramp to right now. They'll have an answer to the six six. I. I hope for his sake he has an answer, because if not, this game is going to go down and it's going to be a very anticlimactic last game here. We should be... <laughs> no, no. The second card he got was Evaporate? No. No. So that's it. <laughs> it would have been so much better if we got a Podfighter. I mean, the deck went 8-2. 
Prime package is good. Uh, I am going to put this on YouTube because we've learned some things from the stack and the deck did pretty well. It was a fun day. Uh, so I am going to say this is going to go on YouTube. However, I feel like the thing that this is leading up to, this deck is leading up to, is the next deck I'm going to do. Which is going to be Ramp, Heal, OTK, just Pod... We're going to run four Torchwoods, four Pod Fighters. We're going to have Little Buddies in that deck. We're going to have board space because we're going to be playing really slow. We'll have a lot of heals. And I'm going to whoop some ass with just a turn 8 or 9. Uh, ridiculous, like, basically many, many bonus attacks from a pod fighter. I'll try to find even some way of buffing it, too. Like, with vitamin. Maybe I'll even run, like, plant for, like, a fertilize that deck. Anyway, that was a fun stream, but the answer is yes. So, congrats to... Congratulations. Well, you got 51% voted yes. People did not have... I, you know, I was probably on the fence in terms of the 8 and 2 with this one. So congrats to you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. That was a fun one. Peace. This is Fry.